Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Canon's Edge with Kaiser Spurgon. This week, I have been working through the Star Wars Darth Vader comics 1 through 6. Uh, there's been a number of different comics that uh, have come out in the pre-Disney years and also in the uh, years uh, after Disney bought the franchise, which has thankfully brought together all of the amazing Marvel comic skills into the Star Wars universe, and we have gotten to see things that there's just well, not enough time and, and money to put up on the screen. Even for Disney, uh, if you were to put all of this up on the screen, it would cost billions of dollars can and i think that comics are uh, a bit cheaper than a full production cast i'm going to do a series where i go through this um all of these through uh, like piece by piece but man i wanted to just talk about this one scene in in this in the sixth so um Darth Vader is on the hunt for the person who blew up the death star and uh, Vader has been um, very, very focused on this. There's a lot that happens between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back, and this comic book fills in some of the holes. Some things that uh, I just learned is Vader figures out who Luke Skywalker is before the Emperor tells him about it in The Empire Strikes Back. So there's this part uh, there's this like uh, uh several different things that are going on in this and in, and in one uh, part of this comic series vader has hired uh chrysanthemum and boba fett to find out who took these the the death star out and he, boba fett at one point says hey i captured him uh, but he got away and he goes oh well that's that's uh very disappointing. And uh, Boba Fett tells him, he goes, yeah, I, the only thing I learned was his name, Skywalker. And Boba Fett leaves, and Vader is left on the, um, I think he's on his personal ship, but he might be on a Star Destroyer. He's looking out this transparent steel, and he's remembering the scene where it's something wonderful has happened, Annie. I'm pregnant. And he's like, that's wonderful. And he's remembering it as Anakin. And it flashes back to him as Vader. And he's clenching his fist. And in the memory, he says, where's Padme? Is she safe? Is she all right? And he goes, I'm afraid she died. It seems in your anger, you killed her and it goes back to the present and with his fish his fish his fist because he carries around a fish with his fist he is crushing this transparent still between him and the vacuum of space you can see some star destroyers out there um you can also see the floor bending and everything around him is being lashed by his anger. And he says, Skywalker. He turns around and goes to the uh, hollow platform. And he summons the Emperor. And he's he goes, ah, I sense your anger. Great anger. Have you something to say? Some profound defiant words or are you wise enough to know your place <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can't help doing the voice it's the only voice I try I'm not even going to try Vader's but he says uh, uh, I am angry you would not have me otherwise my anger brought me to you I want you to know I will not fail and I understand us precisely there's other things that have happened in this series. But after that, the hollow projector shuts off. Vader goes back to the crushed transparent steel window. And he sees Padme right before he chokes her. Sees her in her, uh, her grave. Then sees... 
Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing about to blow up the Death Star. Then you see a little uh, skirmish that he had actually had with Skywalker at another time in another comic series. And all this plays through his head and he's looking out there. I have a son. He raises his fist and everything continues to crush. And he says, he will be mine. It will all be mine. Man, what is going on behind that faceplate? I I, want to know. This is one of the craziest things about Darth Vader, especially when you get to see the very emotional, loving, loyal person that Vader was when he was Anakin. Is he mad that the Emperor hid this from him? I think so. Because I, when I'm looking at this, he goes through all of these memories, and then he goes and he's like, I'm going to talk to the Emperor. And he's like, I understand us precisely. So he's going, is he thinking, he he led me down this path on a path where I killed my wife. Was she alive? Did he lie to me? How much has the Emperor lied to me? And... And in one case, you want to feel sorry for Vader, right? You want to be like, oh my god, all this horrible things has happened. He's been manipulated, and he's a monster now. But exactly how does that track? How evil is Vader? Very. Vader is very evil. But... He wasn't always that way. When the character was known as Anakin, uh, it was a completely different kind of person. Palpatine was always evil. But Vader, in this scene, I'm trying to figure out, does he have any, like, sentiment left? Is he just looking at all of that with just disdain? Is he just looking back and going, oh my god, Anakin Skywalker was so weak and Padme and they were so weak and now I am going to have everything. I guess just for the sake of having it. The dark side is that strong within him that he wants to, it corrupts everything. I I, I think that, you know, it's easy for us to try to kind of take Vader and be like, oh, you know, he's had a rough time. Yeah. Yeah. But he also chopped up all of the younglings in the temple, man. <laughs> um, is uh, I'd like to remind you that Grogu was there. I don't know how he survived, but he was there. So... He didn't just find himself in a in a bad place that he needed to find himself his his way out of. He enthusiastically became Darth Vader. Now we all can enthusiastically do something and then regret it later in life. I'm pretty sure I've done that a few times. But in this scene, I think, in a way, when the years right before he was Vader, he almost began to think he owned Padme. Because he's like, don't turn against me! You know, he was very much, um, very much into his own self, self there. Vader wants to own Luke. Because I think he sees Luke as a strategic piece. I have a son. He's going to be very strong in the Force. And it'll help make up for all these damn cybernetics I have. And maybe I can finally, completely kill the Emperor. I don't think his idea 
was that, oh, uh, okay, I'm going to find my son, we're going to get together, take out the emperor, and then live, you know, happily ever after as, as father and son. No, he wanted to rule the galaxy as father and son. This is not like normal father-son activities. This is not like fishing, <laughs> right? It's not just like, you know, some lightsaber combat or whatever. He wanted to mold... Luke into, I don't, like, Darth Star Killer or something. It's all very interesting conjecture, and it's really interesting because I'm looking at this, and you're not it, probably the first time you've listened to this. Um, these comics are great. You should check them out. There's tons of things in them. I'm going to do a series. But Vader knew Luke Skywalker, who he was, before the Emperor called him up. And said, hey, I have no doubt that the one that destroyed the Death Star is the son of Anakin Skywalker. When Vader said, but how is that possible? Or how can that be? I don't remember the exact line, but when he said that, it was like condescending. He knew. May the Force be with you guys.